Daily devotion with Pastor Bala for September 3rd, 2021 from Psalm chapter 51, Lord have mercy, part three. Lord have mercy. It is a prayer and there is no more important prayer than our cry to God to have mercy. That is the forgiveness of sins because without the forgiveness of sins, there is no life and no salvation. The psalmist began this psalm with that cry for mercy, for that forgiveness of sins. And so we continue this psalm with verse 10. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. God does indeed create a clean heart when we are baptized. For when we are baptized, there is a renewal and a regeneration of our sinful heart. I love what St. Paul tells us about this in Titus chapter 3, verse 5. God saved us, not because of works done by us in righteousness, but according to his own mercy, by the washing of regeneration and renewal of the Holy Spirit. You see, God does all the work. There is nothing we can do to regenerate our own heart. Verse 11 Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. We would be lost forever without the Holy Spirit. I love what Martin Luther says about this in his small catechism in the explanation to the third article of the Apostles' Creed. What does this mean? Luther writes, I believe that I cannot, by my own reason or strength, believe in Jesus Christ, my Lord, or come to him. But the Holy Spirit has called me by the gospel, enlightened me with his gifts, sanctified and kept me in the true faith. In the same way, he calls, gathers, enlightens, and sanctifies the whole Christian church on earth and keeps it with Jesus Christ in the one true faith. In this Christian church, he daily and richly forgives all my sins and the sins of all believers. On the last day, he will raise me and all the dead and give eternal life to me and all believers in Christ. This is most certainly true. Without the Holy Spirit, we would give in to our sinful nature and reject God's mercy and love, which would lead us to eternal death. The Holy Spirit is constantly pulling us back toward God. So if the Holy Spirit is ever taken away, we would be lost. You see, we would run away from the very presence of God, just like Adam and Eve did right after they sinned in the Garden of Eden. You may remember this account from Genesis chapter 3, verse 8. And Adam and Eve heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And the man and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees in the garden. Yes, we need the Holy Spirit. So the psalmist asked God to keep him. How? Through the Holy Spirit. Verse 12, restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me with a willing spirit. With the Holy Spirit, we see the joy of the forgiveness of sins because that is our salvation. Have you ever wondered why some people don't see this joy of the forgiveness of sins? Well, they are rejecting the Holy Spirit. True joy comes from a restored relationship with God, and that is the forgiveness of sins. Join me again tomorrow as we continue with Psalm 51. God's peace and many blessings be with you, and thank you for listening. And please take an opportunity to share this message with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for listening.